This video is to show you how to create an assignment in Seesaw. So you want to log into Seesaw and make sure that you are already in the class that you are wanting to create an assignment or activity for. Um, you will click in under the activities tab and then hit the plus sign. You'll go to share activity and you can see the activities that Seesaw has and activities that you may have created in the past. You can also create new. Um, I like to do the instructions embedded within a template because they can read them once but they don't stay on the screen. Um, but that's totally up to you. So, so you can upload any sort of document or you can use a photo or a link to a different website. Um, you can add a file, but uh, Seesaw is pretty specific about the types of files that you can add. Um, I believe it has to either be a Google Drive document or a PDF. Um, I know it does not take just plain Word documents. However, you can easily copy and paste something from a Word document and put it into a note, which is what I like to do. So I have my directions at the top and then the assignment for them to do. So I click the green check mark, green check mark, and I can go down to more options and choose when I want to share it with my class. So I'm making an assignment right now that's for tomorrow, and they do it at the end of the day, so I'm not going to release it until 1 o'clock. preview to see what it's going to look like and I can schedule it. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like in a student from a student version so you can walk them through how to access these assignments. Okay so now I'm logged into a student account to see what it will look like for them so they would click on activities and then they would find the activity for this class they have the afternoon reflection um, they would hit add, it would ask them to go ahead and choose their name. They edit the note and then they can type in there so they can answer. When they're done, they hit the green check just like normal. And it uploads waiting for teacher approval. If you have any questions about using Seesaw or creating activities, please come find me, Carrie Beth Bates.